In the Halo Infinite update in December, we got two screenshots showcasing a new map in Halo Infinite. And after reviewing the images, there are actually some surprising aspects to it. And I wanted to showcase that in this analytical video and showcase a 3D walkthrough of this map. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like this kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. And if you're new to the channel, remember to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo. Make sure to tap subscribe, keep yourself updated with everything going on with Halo. So yes, we did get those two screenshots in the December update for Halo Infinite, just showcasing something when it comes to Halo Infinite's multiplayer and the map. Looks pretty freaking cool. Looks kind of like an abandoned, almost kind of Hydra Dam kind of thing going on right there. It's pretty cool looking. And I think what this map really does actually show is some unique aspects to Halo Infinite's multiplayer that uh, we're gonna get a chance to first take a look at and we're gonna analyze in this video. Later on, we actually get to do a 3D walkthrough of this map. Yes, a 3D walkthrough of this map. So let's jump right into it. So here's the first image I'm sure you're all very familiar with here. This is kind of like an overview, probably like the center area of the map. But what I wanna do is break down the different sections of this map. What kind of pathing options do we have? What kind of pickups that there are on this map? Because there are some unique kind of pickups and also the way that how dynamic the map is. So let's jump right into this. So obviously the first things we saw guys were definitely the camo right here down at the bottom. This is definitely the camo. You can definitely tell the way the kind of Spartan face kind of fades away kind of look. That's definitely gotta be it. Interesting thing, they brought back the little indicator thing where instead of just walking over and picking it up, you have to walk over, press B like you did in Halo 5, go like the little click thing that you do to your face and then you turn invisible kind of thing. So. Personally, I like having just a walkover ability like we had like in Halo 3, but you know, it's there and so it's kind of a more interactive kind of way to do it. So that's kind of cool. But it's got, glad to see that these classic pickups are coming back. Uh, another pickup that's actually over here is the grapple shot. Yes, like we said previously that the grapple shot is going to be an equipment pickup in Halo Infinite. It's not going to be a per, uh, standard trait when it comes to Halo Infinite characters in multiplayer at least. So you can see that's a pickup right there of the grapple shot. And lastly, the other pickup we can see on this map is actually way up in the back right here. It looks like kind of a weapon spawn pad of some sorts. Uh, to me, I looked really close at it. It looks kind of like an assault rifle, honestly, with like the uh, reticles that kind of has like the little horns kind of like kind of similar to like the Halo 5 battle rifle kind of reticle to it. I could be completely wrong on that. It's kind of interesting though, because normally we have like standardized weapons that are just kind of laying around on the floor and on the walls. Never on a pickup station like this. This would normally be like a power weapon in a special pickup location if it was anything like Halo 5. So this could mean that this actually is like some kind of power weapon, not necessarily an assault rifle, but it looks kind of like a assault rifle given the kind of shape, a bullpup kind of design. Looks like some kind of uh, reticle. It's very similar to like a Halo 5 battle rifle. Um, so that's what it looks like to me, but be interested to see how they do weapon pickups. Uh, I looked through all these images, there are no other weapon pickups in these two images that we have. Now this next section I want to go into is a bit of map geometry. How is this map going to play out? Well, we do know that there's going to be sprint and clamber as a build and sliding as abilities in Halo Infinite from the gameplay trailer that we saw. Most likely those abilities will transfer over to multiplayer, just kind of have some gameplay uniformity for the game, just kind of give you a general feel to it. So what can we do on this map? Well, uh, one thing I definitely look at is, are these boxes down here. Now, these boxes are definitely something you can jump up onto, clamber onto. I guess you could probably clamber if you want to. You can crouch jump on this if you want to avoid that animation. But it seems like either way that a Spartan will probably have to clamber up on top of this ledge right here if they want to try to get to this upper platform. Because just, just judging by the size of the Spartan right here, like it's a full like probably eight feet up or anything, something like that, which would mean that Spartan would have to jump up to grab that. Spartans are generally about seven feet tall-ish. You know, give or take a few inches there. Uh, so maybe a spring jump could work on that. Uh, on the map we're gonna try out later for the walkthrough, you definitely can't spring jump it with the uh, auto uh, clamber. That's ability that's in Halo 5 for sure. Now, if there was any kind of like boosting or hovering ability like we had in Halo 5, I wouldn't expect the space between this platform right behind my head right here. Actually, I can probably take off my webcam to show you. This uh, platform right here, this platform right here, this would be something you could easily transfer over in Halo 5, but I think in Halo Infinite it's going to be probably just sprint, clamber, 
and sliding abilities for your Spartan movements, which is good. I like that kind of style of Halo play for sure. And so I think what you probably will see is a much more kind of condensed, kind of smaller map style, which just definitely seems to be. Because generally with a map that would be this kind of style in Halo 5, I think it would be a much more elongated and more open, making the uh, center of the map much more of a deadly place to be. Uh, it could be why like these crates on the bottom of the map, right, this image right here, are here. So you can probably jump up to this ledge right here where the Spartan is, or maybe just climb up on top of this, jump to this ledge right here to get to this platform. That's probably the idea of the design behind this map. Uh, you can also see over here though, that this is definitely a platform up here to the left side. And you have probably, it looks like a doorway right here and another doorway up here for the maintenance bay area. Uh, seems like it'd probably be something you could probably walk behind here, which would take you right to where this power weapon or weapon pickup spawn point is, this doorway right here. So there are probably multiple ways you can do it. You probably go through, maybe even through the uh, grapple shot room right here. Jump onto this plot go to the, walk over to this platform jump up onto this ledge or you can probably jump on one of these platform uh things i don't know what you really call them exactly you can probably jump up on these or you can probably just walk all the way around maybe possibly like jump from here down here up to that you know there's different kind of ways to get up there which is a really good way to you know balance out your map for weapon pickups another thing i want to highlight are these uh different kind of columns right here now when i initially saw this i thought they'd be kind of a cool thing if they're more dynamic if they kind of went up and down because you can see like how they're at different elevations right maybe like hydro pumps pushing through water or something like that you know something like that would kind of create some kind of energy to use power or something like that that'd be kind of a cool idea but i think these are kind of broken because you can see the kind of electric kind of charge coming out of that right there obviously it could just be the power from the system itself but i think these are actually kind of static broken pieces uh because if we switch over to the other image that we have right here you can see in this second image here that the uh Pedestals are in the same position as they are in the other image. You can see how the front left pedestal is shorter than the back left one. And if we switch over to the other image, you can see it's in the same exact position as a previous one as well. So I think these are probably gonna be rather static uh, positions right here for these kind of things. Now, uh, we can definitely see that there actually is another kind of entrance to this other entrance right here with this platform getting some more uh, pathing options right there. That's definitely a doorway you can see right there, which is kind of interesting because when you look at it from that direction, it's kind of like a brownish kind of yellow tint to the light. But when you look over here, it's more kind of uh, kind of grayish. I can't really zoom in onto it exactly, but you can kind of see right here, that it is kind of much different kind of lighting. So maybe just these screenshots were taken at different times as well. Uh, one other thing I also wanted to point out on top of this is the sprinting animation. It looks like it's actually changed a little bit since uh, Halo 5. Now, when I was looking at this one, like this toe is much more angular, uh, his legs are much higher up, it's much more knees to chest kind of sprinting animation here. I tried recreating the screenshot here in Halo 5, and you can kind of see how it's a little more, a little less exaggerated on the sprinting animations. And also that his uh, weapon is a different kind of placement as well when it comes to sprinting in Halo Infinite. So uh, that's another thing just kind of take in consideration. Maybe with the exaggerated sprinting motions that maybe there might be like a longer sprint out time between sprinting and being able to shoot to kind of penalize that kind of movement a little bit more. Because I would say in Halo 5 it was a little too freeing when it comes to sprinting. Of course that's just pure speculation on my point, but uh, that could just also just be an artistic choice on showcasing the sprinting animation being more exaggerated. But when you're seeing the player sprint, you know that they're obviously sprinting. And if I remove my face right here, just so you can see the full image, uh, there really isn't a whole lot of extra things to look at on this map in particular when it comes to this angle, really. Just showcasing that there's another platform up here. You can jump down to here. Uh, this does look like a platform you would be able to jump from here down to there. The most important thing about this map, guys, you can recycle. That's very important. You know, keep the planet green. You gotta learn how to recycle especially in the future. Now, remember when I said that we're gonna do a live walkthrough of this map? Well, we can do just that. With the amazing creation from Infinite Forge and his team that worked on this map, they actually recreated it in Halo 5 very accurately to a stunning degree that I think would be really fun to showcase it for you guys right here. So let's just jump right into it right now. This is what Hydro from Halo in Halo 5 looks like from Infinite Forges. Link to all his content down below. Amazing Forge content, guys. You definitely need to look out for that guy when Halo Infinite comes around for us. You can kind of see the general look of this map. It's pretty much like spot on. Like you even got like the sparks right there from the uh, the turbine right there, or the pillar or whatever. And so we can kind of just do a quick walkthrough of what we're looking at here. So this is where 
the uh, grapple shot where he would be. This is where he actually put like a speed boost right there. But you can see, walk over here, up on top of this platform, clamber up here. You place the Hydra, which actually could be that weapon that's in the corner. It kind of does look like almost like a bullpup like design to it as well. And so we can go over to the side right over here and check out the other screenshot where I took that screenshot in Halo 5 right over here on this side as well. You can kind of see what the angle kind of looks like. Very similar. I mean, I think he even placed a trash can over there. I mean, it's not recycling though. So, you know, there is a little bit of detail you miss. I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh, so you can kind of see the cool uh, artistic value that you put into this map. And um, he did say that he took some artistic liberties behind this whole thing. Uh, just because he just based it off the two screenshots and kind of built out the map outside of the two screenshots. And I gotta say, this guy did a phenomenal job putting this map together. This feels like what a map would be in Halo Infinite. It's absolutely crazy that the level of detail and the design of the map in general looks really incredible. So you can jump up here, you jump onto this platform like I was mentioning earlier. You also get on here, sprint. Clamber on top of this, no problem. And so like what I was talking about here with these boxes right here, what you can do is just probably just crash jump on top of this, jump, clamber up there. I tried doing a spring jump and it really just kind of doesn't really do much for you. As you can see, it just kind of puts you in the same clamber animation anyways. Uh, so, but I think that's kind of a good thing because you'd be going from bottom mid to like a higher elevation super quickly, which would be a little overpowered to be able to do it so quickly, you know, if you know what I mean? Uh, of course, you can jump across with here because I use a boost. Probably in Halo Infinite, you might not really be able to do that. Uh, like I was telling you about the back way, you can probably walk over here. Here's a platform you can jump over to that power weapon position. There's a back hallway over here as well behind the uh, server room for the maintenance room. Where you can jump around and take a look at this uh, power weapon as well. And just overall, guys, like this map is an amazing recreation of the Hydra map in Halo 5. And just... Guys, it gets me really excited about what we can get, what kind of stuff we can accomplish in Halo Infinite, the different kind of stuff you'll be able to make, and just all this, everything about this is just incredible. I mean, Infinite Forge just really nailed it out of the park walking through this map. If you guys want to play this, uh, definitely go check out his channel, link in the description down below uh, for sure. If you guys want to get a chance to play some Hydro before uh, Halo Infinite comes around. So that's our in-depth analysis of the new map that we saw in Halo Infinite's development update. If you like kind of more analysis videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Check out the videos on the screen. If you missed any content from me recently, got a link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.